I remember when I was a young lad, I got to play my first high budget 3D title, made by a big big company. It was a Call of Duty game, but I don't remember which one. I didn't like it, I had to use a controller, something that I'd never used before in that point in my life, and I had trouble doing basic things like moving around or trying to aim. The worst thing was, was while playing on the zoo map, all the big pools of water where creatures used to be, you know, before it got turned into a Call of Duty map, were completely empty, devoid of decoration, no animals, it was quite boring. So, years later, and I'm playing GTA 5 online with my friend, we kill the innocent with an axe, everything is going well, and then I discovered that you can go in the water. GTA 5 actually has a decent selection of bodies of water, might I say. Now in GTA 5, the game has more to do with crime, cool vehicles, and killing the innocent with an axe, but everyone knows that. I'm going to show you the aspect of this game that truly makes it complete, so I'm going to rank every single body of water in game. First I'm going to lay out some rules, what defines a body of water, otherwise I'm not going to give it a rating. Also I'm not talking about the actual definition, I'm talking about my definition. Well I'm glad you asked. First of all it has to be visible in the world map, so if there's a body of water that's not visible in the map, no matter how great or small, I will ignore it. You can see if it's visible in the map if there's a little gap, you know, you can see through it, like transparent, that'll do. Second, rivers count too. The only rule is, is that the river connects two other bodies of water, so a river that leads to a dead end doesn't count. Third, the rating will be given on a scale from 1 to 10. Fourth, it's not really a rule, but I'll be using director mode so I have full access to the map and soon will stop fucking calling me. I, I tried mods, but uh... This was an easier solution, so uh, sorry about that annoying piece of floating text in the top right corner, and that's about it. So without further ado, I present to you the terribly exciting world of GTA 5's bodies of water. Number 1. The Ocean. Beginning with the biggest body of water in the entire game, it's the ocean that surrounds the entire map. It's filled with easter eggs, it has cool looking waves, and looks cool under the surface. Who doesn't like the sight of this endless horizon? This one is an easy 10 out of 10. Number 2. Industrial Canal. This canal connects the docks to the harbour. Though it presents some cool scenery if you go through it with a vehicle, most of it is this small pathetic stream that's too shallow to even swim in, and even if you could, there wouldn't be anything interesting. The canal itself is fine, everything around it is more interesting. 5 out of 10. Number 3. Dam Pond. Just like Industrial Canal, this body of water gets some extra points due to scenery. Sure, it's small, but it's scenic and elegant. There's not too much to see in the water, sadly, but there's a nice little area that you normally wouldn't pay attention to. It's a 6 out of 10 for me. Number 4. Dam Lake. Same as Dam Pond, but bigger. The problem is, it just looks worse and more industrial. You know when you've got a good burger? Making the buns three times bigger wouldn't taste as good, would it? The rest of the burger would have to be three times bigger as well, but that's not what happens. The scenery in the water is also quite boring, so uh, five, out, five, 5 out of 10. Number 5, Big Lake. Now this. This looks good. It's even got interesting scenery, what's not to love? Well, if you go to the other side you'll see the facade drop, it's ugly here. But the good looking part makes up for it, I suppose, so 7 out of 10. Number 6, Water Hazard 1. Water hazards are the pool of water and golf courses. GTA 5 has three of them. So let me say this, all three of them are scenic, don't have a lot going on under the surface, but still look darn decent. This one is the best of the three with the little stun bridge. Yeah. Number 7, Water Hazard 2. More of the same. I like how it looks like it's split into multiple pools, 5 out of 10. Number 8, Water Hazard 3, easily the worst one. Although the first few water hazards were these neat new gimmicks in the world of water, now it's just getting old, there's nothing to set this one apart and it looks the ugliest out of the three. This is the corporate and soulless remake of the water hazards, 3 out of 10. Number 9, Graveyard Pond. Having this bridge that leads to an important looking tombstone, whatever it is, helps this graveyard look a bit better, I suppose. I wasn't really paying attention, some idiot in a sports car started ramming people and I wasn't even playing online. What an idiot. Number 10. Park Pond. Man, this pond. It tried so hard to look good, it tried and failed. 
Although I like the little island and fake lighthouse, it's just depressing. The surrounding area doesn't look very inviting and the water is very shallow, so I don't really understand the placement of the fake lighthouse as much as I like it. What a waste. 4 out of 10. Number 11, the docks. I guess this technically counts, I wanted to skip over it, but it didn't feel right, so... Here you go, it's the docks. The docks from GTA 5, made by Rockstar Games, 7 out of 10. Number 12, Tunnel River. When I say the Tunnel River, I mean this path of water that connects the docks to the ocean, while going through a neighborhood, and a tunnel like the name suggests. Surprisingly fun to go through with a vehicle. 8 out of 10. Number 13, Horse Pool. It's not good when there's something infinitely more interesting next to the body of water. A cool little tunnel! Look at that! Goes like under, under the track. The, the horse race track. 2 out of 10. Number 14, Horse Pool 2. I guess it's not next to something more interesting. I wish it was. 3 out of 10. Number 15, Smaller Big Lake. Remember Big Lake? Well, this is his small brother. And it's just the worst version. Although it doesn't have an ugly side like the Big Lake, it's very small, and yet the game gives you vehicles as though you want to use them. It's like riding a bike in your bedroom. There's not too much going on underwater either, so 5 out of 10. Number 16, Alamo Pool. Before we get to the Alamo Sea, this is the pool that resides next to it. And wow, it, it is depressing. Not only do the surroundings not do it any favor, the water color is red and diseased. I imagine swimming in this will probably require multiple trips to the hospital afterwards. Depressing and outright shameful. 1 out of 10. Number 17, Alamo Sea. Well, if you call this a sea, then I guess my bathtub is a fucking lagoon. Not only does this sea have some red and diseased water of its own, there's barely anything to see when you decide to go swimming. It's really weird that the lakes I talked about before, which are much, much smaller than this sea, have more interesting scenery on the water. The water is also mostly brown. You can't see very far ahead of you. Other than that, it's a good place to go sailing or reuse any other boat as you won't be constantly launched into the air like with the waves in the ocean. The view of the mountains in the distance is also quite nice, I suppose, So, and it leads to the two rivers, which we're going to talk about. So that's a plus. 7 out of 10. Number 18, Cassidy Creek. A highly detailed river with a waterfall included. It's like a virtual water park, except way less fun. The train bridge is a cool touch. 9 out of 10. Number 19, Lago Zancudo and Zancudo River. Yeah, I'm grouping these together, bite me. The swamp like scenery of the branching rivers is great, and the more slim river that came before it is also pretty solid. I also like how it looks like two rivers next to Yalamo Sea, like foreshadowing to the Lago Zancudo at the end of the river. 9 out of 10. Number 20, Lago Zancudo Pool. Yeah, this, this, this is just pathetic, 1 out of 10. Number 21, Mountain Lake. Yeah, I mean, it's right. There's nothing more to add, really. The underwater looks kinda neat, I guess. 4 out of 10? Number 22, Mountain Pond. And we're at the end, and although this is far from the best, this little pond is like the final touch to something. Not a big finale, but a nice little bow around the Christmas present to gift to little Jimmy. One thing that really works in its favor is that unless you're hunting for bodies of water like I was, you'd probably miss it. It's hidden by trees from both sides, making it more like decoration. It doesn't ask your attention, it just is. 4 out of 10. And that's it, we ranked every single body of water in GTA 5. Now, what did we learn? That every body of water in this game is its own god with the exception of number 16 and 20? No? Well you should've learned that. Watch the video again. Uh, I don't, my script says I need to wait here for comedic effect, but there's no jokes, so I'm just gonna continue. Anyway, I'll talk about something slightly more interesting next time. No promises, though.